Journalistic like? Is this in the background? Soundtrack? Sure. I can't I can't transcribe that on the typewriter, but what the hell? Yeah. Or just for us? Yeah. Bring up the volume. I think that say, uh, Satanism should be spread out and I think more people should join because it's uh the greatest thing there is. 
Watching David Suskind. Right. Um. Oh, I guess. Should I? I guess start with like your full names and stuff. Do you want to McGuire? McGuire? That's my name. How do you spell it? G E O R G E. Your last name. Oh, M C G U I R E. Okay. And your name? William Roach Gibson. I guess I don't know how to spell that. So tell me about your like your basic background. Well, we live in. I live on 28 Lincoln Road, Lake Ronkakama. I've been a Satanist for about four years. Um, um, I put many people in a hospital when I used to fight. I still do, of course. And I've uh, robbed 30 houses in the Ronkakama and Holbrook area about two years ago with my friend Steve Gerhold and another friend called BC. We've done Any reason for that? Like money or? Oh, yeah, money. Yeah, money, money and drugs. drugs. <laughs> These people had drugs in their houses or money for drugs? Oh, money for drugs. You didn't know, you didn't know any people, you didn't catch any people who had uh, shit in their houses? What do you mean? I mean you, haven't, you haven't like robbed any houses and gotten... Oh, you screwed for it? No, sword. gotten like drugs out of their houses. You know oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Funny people. So, but you know what, we got screwed for, but you know, the long arm of the law gets you after a while. Just tell Especially about like school, like what you like? Stupid, like we dropped school. out. Well, we what, dropped what out, grade? but when we were in seventh grade and everything, we used, to, uh, we used to have a good time. Yeah. Make out, uh, fuck around with all kinds of chicks. I used to burn down the lockers and everything. They kicked him out, my friend Steve. Because they, uh, we used to us a little mafia, because we used to be. We like, weren't hanging out together for a while, because I was like, I put away in our uh, uh, Judy Hall. A couple of Judy Halls. <laughs> so <laughs> when we sold the car with Virginia, you know, Steve. So what'd you do after that? Well, after he yeah. left? Yeah. Oh, we just kept going. Just let him at home? Well, he was... He when was he in was in the home, we uh, we still preached the word of Satan. And so did he so when he was in the home. So when did you, you get turned on to that shit? Well, when I was young... Well, it ain't shit, no more. And I was still... So, uh, we, uh, I don't know, it was because of Ozzy. When we were young, we used to listen to Ozzy a lot. And then from there, I don't know, we just started getting possessed. But, but Ozzy's a Christian. Well, he was is. once a Satanist. He was. He even said it in the Matt Hit Parade magazine. He was a Satanist at one time. Black Sabbath is still a Satanism. So, what do you think about his, like, uh. New thing? Yeah. He's a fruitcake. He's a fruitcake. <laughs> He's a fruity balloon. I hate him now. He's married. Does he have a kid? Yup. Yeah, he's married. He went to the Betty Ford Clinic, please. He did? I saw something on CNN. He was an alcoholic. Well, no, among other, among other things. I take one to get me to sleep at night. I take it all the time. I tell you, I just have to do something to change. <laughs> the light is flashing on. It's supposed to. Have you guys? Have you, yeah, that means it. Have you guys seen those videos from his those live videos of his? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You ever seen this? Yeah. It it's like Iron Man. It's like song of like you know like. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Are you talking about the um, Speak of the Devil one or like um, the old ones from like 72? No, no, the, 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 the live video. Did concert. you ever see the old uh, videos of Osborne? Nah, Saturday? Paranoid. Very yeah, good. Way to really? Where'd you see him? Way to choose ones. Where'd you see him? I see him on uh, Hit Parade magazine Friday nights yeah. on Channel 21. Wow. Paranoid was on... Okay, cool. On, uh, yeah, well, no, I mean, that that's live, like, you know, him solo stuff. Long hair, bright yellow, young, yellow, 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 freaking out. Yeah. That's, what, that's the old ones, yeah. Ah! <laughs> <You're> coming! <laughs> so, uh, so you got into like seventh grade? No, you said you got into the stuff like a yeah, the awesome stuff. Grade. Now, how'd you find out about it? Like all the I don't know we we've, we've been evil. Into it. We've yeah, just been evil. evil. So, well, I mean, all the the ritualism and all that stuff. Ha is that stuff you copy it yourself or nah. to read it up or? Well, we've read magazines. Like, uh, we I don't know. We just came well, to our us. mind just opened up. Did you just get a, to get the stuff from the library or anybody specifically had books they showed you? Oh, yeah, books. Yeah. Go to the library, steal some books, uh -huh. read up on it. So, now, did, when you got into this, did you, what about like, did you find out other musicians who were doing stuff? Oh yeah, like, yeah Slayer, yeah. Venom, um, all kinds of groups. Dio, even Dio's a Satanist. Do you have any like, particular like, favorite? Venom. Sabbath. Venom for me. Sabbath. That's a very, very good. I've, I've heard that guys like Venom really use it, like, really aren't into it. I mean, the Satanism really. Not into it? I've heard that they, it's just like a vehicle. They know all the, the stuff, but they just, it's not like they really believe it. They just use it to, you know, for lyrics and for, like, uh, stuff on their record sleeves. I guess you've seen their record sleeves, right? Oh, yeah. They yeah, play yeah. pentagrams and all that yep. stuff, and then they, they have, have the quotes, you know. Like a, like a Crowley looking dude with um, 666 on one ear, upside down across the Yeah, they have all kinds of. I can, I, 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 stuff. I can. Like, you should have grabbed the board here. Um, I'm gonna take it down off my wall, man. It's where your thumb pack. 
so it's so, pretty hard to put So which, which, which Venom albums do you have? Black Metal and Possessed. Do you like well, Possessed? It's alright, it ain't as good as Black Metal. metal. Yeah. Do you have that one seen? No, no. Uh, yeah, my friend does. Yeah. It's a good album. Yeah, it is a good album. It's like the first two. Oh, yeah. um, I have been about people your house. Keep on for your house. Yeah. yeah. So, so, do you guys go to gigs? Do you go to Moors or anything like that? Well, we were supposed to go to Studio uh, 5464 in Manhattan to see our Slayer and um, Venom, but I guess we couldn't get to see it. Yeah, Slayer really. That was a really good show for Slayer, but then uh, they didn't have Mantis. So. It was like these two guys doing stuff, right. two guitar players, and they were pretty lame. But yeah, they really came up as like more of a rock and roll band. Right. You know what I mean? They were doing like rock oh, and roll shit. They'll burn in hell for sure. They'll burn in hell. I remember, they'll probably enjoy it. <laughs> well, um, if they don't believe in secret. What else? What, what, what other stuff can you think of, John? See, oh, can I tell you something what, uh, what happens what to people in, uh, yeah. in hell? Yeah. In rap. Like, say that you hate roaches, right? And you go to hell. Yep. And uh, you don't believe roaches. you don't believe in Satan. Go to hell. Satan will torment you by putting thousands of roaches on your body, eating you alive, and you and you live you alive. And then if you die, you come back into your regular form again, and then you be tormented in different ways. That's what I was trying to say. Like what they hated the most is what they got stuck with. Right, right. Yeah. The situation of the worst. It's like living nightmares. Whatever else you want to say or take, say it. Um. I am the most highest body in <laughs> human life. Yeah, explain explain your 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 uh, group. Well, the people in the oh, we are circle? pure. We yeah. are we are prudes. We keep our noses in the air. We are it's proud nice. of ourselves. We think of other people as low lives compared to us because we are much more higher than they are. We're Christians. See, because Earth is hell, and we dominate the it's Earth. A, it's a sort of hell. It's not the real hell, but it's hell. And Jesus Christ even said to Satan. Uh, you may be the king of the earth, but I am the, the king of the heavens, or some bullshit like that. I don't remember. So what what it is basically is that you guys you guys do believe right. in, in I believe Christianity. You believe there's a god. Oh yeah, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. If uh, if there wasn't a god, there wouldn't be as, uh, a devil. No, but you, okay, so, and you believe in the but you're then well, how, what then you believe in the power of the devil. What is why do you decide with the devil rather than Jesus Christ? Because Jesus is an all false religion. He's a Jesus blasphemy. is a faggot. Yup, he's a fruit. He's a fruit. Fruit pie magician. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus is a fruit pie. <laughs> yeah, it's well, what um, I mean, is there any particular reasoning other than you like the devil stuff more than because the, the Christian stuff? Because the devil, the devil, the devil represents sin. your prayer. The devil represents sin, and Jesus represents goodness. Like uh, going to church every Sunday. The devil represents going out, getting high, beating up people, and hanging out. Yeah. That's what we did. Because reason is any. That's what we are believing. That sounds good. Good answer, good answer. Um, I think I have something to say. You guys know these guys. I don't think I have something to say. <laughs> hmm. We put curses oh. on people and shit like that and they came true. Tell, tell, tell us about... Yeah, tell us about the... Some of the verses you were talking about before. Didn't well, if a new member comes into the group... Well, why don't you, can you explain the whole thing? Tell us All right, if it's a male, if it's a male, the new team? member yeah. of the group would have to be, you know, something really grossed out, no. like urine and oil mixed together in a cup, or, um, frogs, like, I, I ate a live frog. And you have to be, um, be like, you, you embarrass the person and shit. And yeah, you, know, you gotta embarrass the shit out of them and shit. And then for a girl, she has to, have, uh... Have sex with the male member of the yeah, whole group. Just to spread it. Well, that's what it means, uh, a satanic pentagram. See, when you have a black mask, you're supposed to have a naked woman laying no. down in the a shape virgin. of the pentagram. See, when the pentagram's like this, it's the head, the arms, arms and the legs, legs spread out. See, we're perverted people, right? See, because that's how Satanism tell is. Tell me about, like, who, you know, like, according to the tarot cards, who's what, and what each person, like, well, you know, what each person's responsibilities are, and... Uh, I am the emperor. I'm the keeper. The I am the keeper of the cards. He's the hermit. I'm the hermit with the knowledge. He's the knowledge man. He knows places where we have to go. He takes care of us. Like, say we get into some place lost. Like, we all get lost. He knows where the hell he's going and shit. He, he's the keeper of the light. Yep. He's the keeper of the flame. My friend Steve, he's he, the death. he is he's death. Off. He is the emperor. Yep. He, uh, 
Well, he ain't the emperor. He's the priest, the high priest yep. that uh, reads the satanic book and uh, yep. and now uh, keeps us informed and all that. Yeah. Sure. Do you have like like weekly meetings or something? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All the time. Definitely. It's like Boy Scouts. <laughs> I haven't been around lately since I've been out because I got I got fucked up just the other week and shit. But oh, you don't have to pay money for your initiation. The thing is, is that you know it's more happier if you have some herb and shit. You'll yeah. get high and have yeah. a good time. Well, tell me about the time with the two hundred and eighty dollars. Oh yeah, yeah one me, night. Cause me him. Go ahead. And Steve are the original people of the circle. We are the three founders of the circle. We are the highest people in the circle, no matter what. Anybody else comes in, we're the highest people, right? So we have me, him, and George. Like anything we want, should we? Like, you know, we have a pentagram that night. We have a seance, everything with the candles. And we ask, you know, because we didn't have we a exclusive for good fortune, good fortune and, and everything. money and shit. You know, like some money for a couple days and shit. Like, have a party, you know? So, like, you know, we all went home that night and shit, you know? And the next day, I, you know, I came down and shit, you know, I was like, you know, we'll be, you know, I was like, no, we had no money, looking for money and now, bro. And I, I came over, all of a sudden, he just jumped out of the house and shit, like a bunch of men and shit. I was like, whoa, what the fuck, you know? <laughs> he found $280 for the sixth race. $290. Sixth race, you know, $290. For the six race in OTB. <laughs> yeah, I was in Found OTB. It. I picked up this uh, OTB ticket. I don't know. It just I don't know. I just wanted to pick it up and check it out. It was the six race. The six race didn't even go off yet. Now Duck. It was only the fourth race that went off. So I said, "Holy shit! I got this fresh ticket." It was April six. The six race and the six horse that won. I won uh, two hundred ninety-one dollars. So what do you? I mean, I guess in Christianity they call that a miracle or something. Well, like, Christianity they were, no, they were calling the good fortune call. of the Lord, but that's no bullshit. Christianity. You, Christianity, you're not even supposed to go into OTB. No, OTB. Well, what do you call cool. when you call when you get some like this? That's yeah. sin. That's sin. That's well, sin. what do you call this like direct like um, connection? Direct, yeah, circumstance. Yeah. circumstance. Oh, because we we asked Lucifer really for it, and we had the faith in it, and it came to us. So we not, we're usually broken. They, they call it a gift. What do you call it? The Lord smiling. Well, I just call it good fortune from Satan to let us have uh get blown out of our socks and shit and enjoy life. We we like the sin. Is there any is there, is there any kind of um, is there any kind of equivalent to like stigmata or anything? Yeah, stigmata like when, when statues cry and stuff or bleed or both. Nah, I don't believe in that shit. Well, I mean, there's there's no equivalent. I mean, oh, I seen the Jesus picture the, cry once. Really I punched it, I cracked it in half and it started crying. <laughs> and everybody was there. We were tripping out. There's this lady over there. She used to live there. She's a nut. Jean Horn, man. We, we freaked, freaked her out. We freaked her out and shit. Because, you know, she was a Christian and shit. And we went in there. She had this big portrait of Jesus, right? We were all tripping out that night. So everybody was trying to break it and shit. So I just held it and went, boom, threw my fist to it. Cracked. In her house? In her house. It cracked right in half. It was like a painting. It cracked right in half. This is the lady's house? Yeah. Break in, or is like a lady? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no one of my brothers, one of our old brothers yeah. named Lewis, uh, he was a saint. He's a blasphemous. Blasphemous. He's a, a psychic vampire. He's a, a psychic vampire. It's in the Bible. It's uh, someone who feeds off other people but won't give nothing to can. Like, you know, we share everything. Me, him, and Steve, we, we share everything, man. Whatever we got, we share with each other. Him, you share with, you know, you share your stuff with him, but he won't share with you. So he was a psychic vampire trying to feed off this. See, we and like to enjoy life. Like, we like to hang out with our friends over here and party and do our thing. We're not troublemakers or nothing like that. We wouldn't go off and start killing people for no reason. The only time we would hurt somebody really bad if they are true enemies of us and give us great danger. Yep. You know? And like we will, like the other night, this my brother saved me. Oh that yeah, was I great. Did, one night we so were hanging out. Go ahead. Oh, I'll tell the story. Wait. We were hanging out, right? And I was, just, you know, I was all, all drunk and shit, so I was fucking up shit, right? It was this group, like you know, these jock and jocks and shit, right? And you know, they hate us. They hate us because they hate burnouts where we live. I live in Holbrook over there. I live five seven. These guys don't like that. And um. We were hanging out, and all of a sudden the dude, he, run, he ran up to me, I was all drunk and shit, I didn't know what was going on. I turned around, he hit me three times in the face, he goes, you want up? Boom, boom, boom. And I also see this flash. You got a chain with him in the face. Because he has this, well, yeah, he got the chain. He's got about five chains on a wallet. I had one too, but I didn't take it out. I'm a chain man. Push, hit the dude right in the head, split his head open and shit. Oh, my head, my head. He ran away and shit. <laughs> me and him, we just took off, man, it was great. I got my ass out of that trouble, but now they're looking for us, but I don't care. They want, they, they know where I'm at, but they want to find me, and I'll, I'll kill them. Explain that story they tell me with the girl, that, with the chains. Does that have to do with this? Oh, no, oh, no, no, that no. girl, that girl, see this She little, got her ass kicked by yeah. some Because she has a mouth. She has a mouth. She likes to say shit about people. So there was a fight, right? And my friend was beating her up and shit, and she was losing, so I took my chain ball and I gave it to her. And, um, you know, she sort of beat the girl with the chain and shit, and uh, a bat, my brother gave her a bat, so. But after the fight, we walked home, all of a sudden, three cop cars pull up and shit, they grabbed me and shit, I started, I started giving them a, a wicked laugh and shit, you know, because they kept on saying that, you know, it was the safest and shit like that. Because, um, Debbie's mom, the girl that, you know, we beat up, because I, I was ma making pictures on the wall and shit, like devil and shit like that, and her mother, Told the, Speak a little louder so we could go in. Her mother told the cops that we were Satanists, so I, I admitted to it. So I ain't gonna, you know, fool around and say I'm not a Satanist because I'm proud of my religion. It's a religion. 
guaranteed in the Constitution, so I'm gonna, you know, I'm saving this. So who, who do you know? Like who, like you know any like famous people or anything that have got savings or something? How does that distortion work? Well, I don't know. We we just keep ourselves selected. Who we hang out with, you know, is selected. So, you know, some people like we meet and shit, and you know, you can see the real people and shit. We just don't hang out with them. We stay away from. Them. We lost a lot of friends because of that shit. Because you know, they you know they say things behind the back that were satanists, that were sick and shit. So they gone, man. They us. Oh, you don't have any. You don't have any connections with like, people like the other like you know. We're gonna go to Colorado and see that dude, uh, Anton Levy. So you do so you, you keep in contact with people out of state, and have you ever met any other people? And like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to know this lady. Oh. This is how I really got into Satanism. I knew this lady called Night Song. She was a very, very heavily into Satan. She thought she thought of herself as a demon that uh, came down to the earth. He, she never got to met, uh, meet her because he was in a home, and uh, I don't know. She just uh, expired me and my friends. So uh, that's how I got into it. I got this guitar for free because I found uh, about I found nine hundred and twenty dollars in an envelope. <laughs> Next day after I had my He's laughing. What, what is the? Because it's true. It's so it's funny. It's what, is he, what do you mean found? You don't you don't see Christ doing things like this for you. What do you mean found? Yeah. And this guitar is pet possessed. Well, I found it on the road when I was walking down the street. And another yeah, thing. Yeah, nine hundred twenty bucks on the road. Yeah, but see, no, God won't give you money. money. God won't give you money. Like if you pray to God, you want money. God won't give you money to spend on yourself and have like, you know, like hang out and shit. You know, because he's good. God he wants you to spend your money on he the church and all that, that shit, yeah. But, he but if you ask Satan for, for money, you know, you, you know, he gives it to you for a reason, for drugs and shit like that. He's definitely here. The devil is definitely around. There is a God and there is a devil. But that is true. You could be an atheist. An atheist means I just don't believe in both, but there is. There is. So now, now explain to me, you said you just spent like, well, you, you spent some of these cash. Um, Around a thousand bucks. So tell me exactly what you have. Your whole rig. Well, Basically. I have my distorters. I what, have, what, like uh, companies and stuff. I'm curious. I'm not sure. And I, you know, I just know it's a distorter. So what do you do? You walk into a store or like? Yeah, it's a shop. Store. Well, uh, I've I brought this in a uh, family melody down in uh, the mall, and I uh, got my distorter yeah. down in uh, the mall. I got my distorter down right over here at this uh, musician store. I don't know what the hell it's called. And I got my amp from this kid I know. Brand new amp. What kind of you know, speakers and uh, uh multibox. One big speaker. One fifteen, one twelve. Uh like how big is it compared one to that? How big is it compared to that? No, I mean like what what how do you say it's about it's just that it's smaller. So it's one twelve inch speaker. Probably. Yeah, something like that, I'm not sure. It's a pretty loud one now. Like Very loud. You you play anything? Well, my play is I fool around with this guitar. I want to learn how to play guitar. But, you know. Are you guys in a band? Are you got a corner band? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah of course, yes. I'm I am. See, that's my goal. That's why I'm in Satanism, because uh, I want this to be, and, uh, you know, I made a pack with him. I'll sell my soul after he gives me do my you gift. Kind of, do you any kind of like, specific ritual to do, do that? Or? Well, I, I haven't sold my soul yet. I'm just, uh, I don't know, I'm just, uh, what do you call a person who believes? Um, I'm just very religious in my uh, religion. <laughs> yeah, we're like born against Satanists. Yeah, <laughs> Well, I mean, is there any specific thing you have to do to sell your soul to, like, so you can get your gold? You gotta go to a high priest. Oh, That's yeah. So is that why you're in Colorado? Is that bad? Well, there's all kinds. He ain't just, you know, him. There's a lot of high priests. Yeah. Oh. How do you, you get in contact? You gotta you find slice it. Their, you slice your wrists, you pull out the blood, you sign your name and what you want in, in writing with blood, and you uh, do it with Satan, and then they burn a pentagram to your chest. So you're gonna do that to be a band? Uh, no, I'm gonna be the most. I'm gonna be the greatest heavy metal guitarist there is. See, I was gonna be um, a vocalist a while back. I'm not bad vocalist, but uh, you know, I'd rather do this instead. It's like my machine gun. Who, who do you like? What guitar players do you like? Oh, Randy Rhodes, Tony Iommi, Tony Tony Iommi, of course. Like that. And um, that dude is great. Jimmy Page, he's alright. Nah, he's, 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 he's good. He's, he's good. He's good, but he ain't the greatest man. And that compared to Hendrix, man. Oh, Hendrix is a master. So, you know, what, what do you know about Jimmy Page's connection to shit? Jimmy Page, I heard, was a Satanist. He was really, really heavily into it, but uh, Robert Plant wasn't. Mr. Crowley was on uh, the board. He used to put course. curses. That's he used to put curses the onto the band members. Mr. Crowley was on the board. I believe that stuff was, was, that was true, like, about, like, he, the, uh, he got his people like, the other bands to put curses on because they were really popular. Like, like, no, like, no, like, no, tricks and shit. I don't think that. Jimmy Page just did it. They'll go right down. No, that was awesome. Heavy metal has a... 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 He
Well, that's because I guess because we're all evil and uh, bad fortune happens to us sometimes. Yeah, we do. Because Christianity, G Jesus Christ does it to us sometimes. He tries to get his own little revenge. Just like God said, vengeance is mine. He enjoys fucking playing games. He enjoys playing his games of chess with us on the table. I'm fucking us over. That's why Lucifer couldn't stand it anymore. Because uh, when he was up in heaven, he was the most beautifulest angel there was for God. Because he was the highest angel oh, for God. He, he was the highest angel. He had the most wings. See, because it, it compares to the wings you had. Like, he had wings on his feet, on his back. He had about, how many wings on his back? Six. About 13. 16 to 13 wings. That's my lucky number, 13. And um, when he found out that Christ was better than him, he got very, very jealous and he wanted to uh, defeat him. And uh, I don't know, I don't know what the hell happened, but you know, God cast him down to the earth. Oh, what's war vengeance. What's the uh, SG? I know, I'm Oh, it's Steve Gatto. It's a good friend of ours. And uh, it also means Satan's God, Satan's great. Oh, shit. Hang on a second. They had the um this is on twenty twenty too, but that was a little bullshit. Yeah, which one's that? I, I, I missed watched that. that. that was oh, I mean, watch it? No, I missed that. Wasn't it wasn't on. It was, but they they they, they took the side of God in the whole deal. Of course, they, would, they wouldn't listen to the same side of the whole deal. They just, but I heard they were doing like really lame groups and stuff. Well, I mean, more than just, I mean, like ACDC and stuff, those guys aren't saying this, are they? Yeah, ACDC. Yeah, Angus, 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 Angus,
and I don't even know what string or, uh, you know, I don't know what chord, I don't know, I don't know. Just to see.
Slayer, you know, like right. Metal Blade and Mega yeah. Force, those labels. Black Flag.
Something I'll play in the chip. 